Hello, my friend. I'm Oliver. So now for this Komatsu X Vita PC360 from Lesu, it is a customized one. Have have spare channels and have lighter. And uh, now we will uh, show you. Now the control curve. It is a simple V-shaped control curve. So when controlling it, it is a little bit. The speed sometimes fast, sometimes slow, not really easy to control. So I will set it up for finely control curve and uh, to make it more easy to control. So now we will see, so start the pump. Now it is only V-shaped control curve. So you will see the big arm is moving very fast, not easy control, but for the small arm it is a little bit slow. That's the full speed. And also for the bucket, it is also slow compared with the big arm. You see this one, it is moving very fast. If you fully moving it, it's not easy to control. You cannot make it like this. Because the arm, big arm is moving more fast than the front arm and the bucket. So you see the big arm coming down and up quickly but the front arm more slow. Let's see. Stop, and you will see now what is the control curve. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to change to English. So settings, change to English, and uh, to see the pro mix, you will see the control curve. So. J1 hydraulic pump, it is off. So now you see the control curve. This one it is for the pump start, it is V type. And we will see another control curve. The bucket, the valve open for the bucket, this control curve, you see it is only a straight line. So not easy. So for the big arm, let's see. So you see only for the distribution valve, now this is only setting up for the bucket control curve. The valve open, it's like this. But for the front arm and the big arm, no have control curve to open the, the valve slowly. So I will set up, that I will show you uh, all the settings for the bucket, front arm, and the big arm, the distribution valve, how slowly to open it and to make fine control of it. Let's see how to set the control curve. So we have two places to setting. First is this function red. That's the basic control curve. But usually I'm not using this one. It cannot be so accurate. So here I, I only using for the plat turning. You click, uh, click this channel three, plat turning. So you will see here, you select. And it is only the basic changing of the curve, you see. So at the beginning, you start it slow. Yeah, it's like this. You can change the control curve, the shape. So for the turning, you can start slowly and then speed up quickly. So let's go inside again to check for the function red. Flat turning, and here you got DR, that's for the control switch. So we always keeping this on. So let's first see the plate turning. You switch, you click inside. So click this and uh, keep it open, always open. So always have this control curve. No need to switch controlling. And let's see for others, you got for the bucket, big arm. So I'm not setting the control curve here for the bucket, big arm, and the front arm. So you have to change in this red A and B to zero. Changing, changing it to zero, it means it's flat. So no control from here. Also for the front arm, bucket, it's all the same, all flat. Also, all this, switch it on. All keep this switch on. 
So now we have four contour curve here, three flat, only the flat turning we're setting up from here. Okay, let's go out. So after here it's all flat, we can set in accurate contour curve from the pro mix click here. So number one, mix number one, J1 to CH2 means J1 to the bucket. Click inside, master J1, slab CH2, the CH6, the bucket. Control curve 11 points, that's the maximum. So when you're moving, you, you slowly move it and find where it is start the bucket turning. So you know from around 30, around 30% 30 the bucket start moving. So I'm setting up, check here. Setting up the first red dots, it is 31%. And second one, increase 34, 38, 44, 51. So that's already full open. That's the full speed of the bucket. Check it out. And downside, when the bucket doing the digging, I slowed it down, check. Here, that's the digging curve. Started around 31 and maximum 41%. 43%. That's for the bucket curve. And what, what's more also, the switch, I chose SWA. So, SWA now it's on, off you will have no control of the servo and uh, no control of mix start the pump. Switch it on. Let's check for the pump. So for mix control starting the pump, master J1, slab pump, curve. This curve always like this. You start quickly the pump, increase the load so you have enough pump load and the oil flow for controlling the bucket and arm. So start quickly and always pump started positive turning one direction. So for this all the same. So J2 and the CH5, that's the big arm. Let's see the controlling, the curve. J2 and the big arm valve. So big arm, that's J2, started from around 20, 30 and uh, when going up started from 31 so different machine different well even same for the same one the servo could be have little difference so need to adjust from your side precisely one by one i slowed it down so it's not moving very quickly you cannot control it so maximum when going down 38 percent when going up, 44%. Let's see the front arm. Front arm is controlled by J3. J3 and the CH4, the small front arm, the valve. J3 and the front arm valve, 11 points. So the, all this, you check all these curves are different depending on this, the valve where it starts open how quickly it can move the operation. So that's the operation, how to set it up. So totally we have four control, one is bucket, and the bucket starts the pump, arm, front arm, and the big arm, and mix control for the pump. So all together, we set it up, six mix control. Yeah, we set it up, you see here from SWAR, totally six mix control. For the quick release, the well open, no need control curve, so you can start the pump, directly start the pump and release the quick release. Also for the spare channel now, not using yet. So let's see how this one is working now.
Also, if you want more power when you're digging, now it's mix control, yeah? You also can start the pump with higher load. Thank you, that's the operation of this one. So for others, what you like to see, how to set in, what is your uh, opinion and what you need to know, just ask me, I will try to find the answer for you. Thank you, bye bye.